blessings of the day. We thank you for your help and your strength. We thank you uh, for the way, God, that you provide uh, plentifully. And we pray that you would be with us today as we do the business of the county. Uh, Lord, that you would give clarity of thought. And, Lord, that you would give wisdom. And we ask, God, that you would uh, continue to be with those that are sick in our community. Uh, those that are needing help, we pray that that help will be found. And God, we just pray that you would help us to be a help to our neighbors and our friends. And we ask it all in Jesus' name. Everybody said. Thank you, Mike and Brian. Can we get a motion to approve the minutes of October the 8th? So moved. I'll second. Mr. Crabtree? Aye. Ms. Coleman? Aye. Mr. Davis? Abstain. In the matter of resolution adopting the updated Scioto County Natural Hazard Mitigation Plan. Are there any comments or discussion in regard to the resolution uh, as presented on item two? Hearing none. I'll make a motion to adopt. Second. Ms. Coleman? Aye. Mr. Crabtree? Aye. Mr. Davis? Aye. In the matter of 2021 Soda County Cares Act sub award grant agreement regarding access Soda County. Any comments or uh, questions in regards to item three? Hearing none. Motion to approve. A second. Mr. Crabtree? Aye. Ms. Coleman? Aye. Mr. Davis? Aye. In the matter of comprehensive case management and employee employment program between Soda County Department of Job and Family Services and Community Action Organization. Any questions or comments in regards to item four? Hearing none. Motion to approve. Second. Ms. Coleman? Aye. Mr. Crabtree? Aye. Mr. Davis? Aye. In the matter of request for appropriation of transfer of funds. Are there any questions or comments in regards to item five? Hearing none. Motion to approve. I'll second. Mr. Crabtree? Aye. Ms. Coleman? Aye. Mr. Davis? Aye. In the matter of communication from sanitary engineer regarding customer reimbursements. Are there any questions or comments in regards to the reimbursement request from the sanitary engineer? Hearing none. I need a motion to approve. Second. Ms. Coleman? Aye. Mr. Crabtree? Aye. Mr. Davis? Aye. In the matter of request for fund transfers. Are there any questions or comments in regards to item seven? Hearing none. Motion to approve. I'll second. Mr. Crabtree? Aye. Ms. Coleman? Aye. Mr. Davis? Aye. In the matter of approving payment of the regular schedule of accounts for various funds, moral obligations, and then and now certificates in the total amount $239,542.67. Are there any questions or comments in regards to the docket today, item 8? Hearing none. I'll make a motion to approve. Second. Ms. Coleman? Aye. Mr. Crabtree? Aye. Mr. Davis? Aye. In the matter of promulgation statement for hazardous material emergency response plan regarding Soda County EMA. Any questions or comments in regards to item nine? Hearing none. Motion to approve. I'll second. Mr. Crabtree? Aye. Ms. Coleman? Aye. Mr. Davis? Aye. In the matter of request for appropriation of funds. Any questions or comments in regards to item 10? Hearing none. I'll make a motion to approve. Second. Ms. Coleman? Aye. Mr. Crabtree? Aye. Mr. Davis? Aye. In the matter of rescinding resolution accepting grant and dedication of right of way for public road purposes to be known as Giant Oaks Mill Road, Porter Township, Soda County, Ohio. Is there any questions or comments in regards to item 11? Hearing none. Motion to approve. Second. Mr. Crabtree? Aye. Ms. Coleman? Aye. Mr. Davis? Aye. In the matter of resolution accepting grant and dedication of right-of-way for the public road purposes to be known as Giant Oaks Mill Road, Porter Township, Soda County. Questions or comments in regards to item 12? Hearing none. Motion to adopt. Second. 
Ms. Coleman? Aye. Mr. Crabtree? Aye. Mr. Davis? Aye. In the matter of authorizing the clerk to advertise a notice to bidders for multiple heating and air units for the Soda County Courthouse. Questions or comments in regards to item 13? Hearing none. Motion to approve. I'll second. Mr. Crabtree? Aye. Ms. Coleman? Aye. Mr. Davis? Aye. In the matter of approval of easement for, from Soda County Commissioners to Ohio Department of Transportation regarding Bennett Road. Questions or comments in regards to uh, item 14? Hearing none. Motion to approve. Second. Ms. Coleman? Aye. Mr. Crabtree? Aye. Mr. Davis? Aye. Anything further, Mrs. Coleman? None at this time. Mr. Crabtree? No, sir. All right. Uh, gentleman. <laughs> gentleman of the press. And I'm sorry if I'm squinting this morning, but I literally have a shiny. Um, I did have it's a like few... really bright right here. Yeah. Uh, I did have a few questions on agenda. Um, yes. Starting uh, with item two. Um, item is two. Is this just a, a renewal or just well, more details? Well, it actually is a little bit more than that. Um, starting several months ago, um, golly, pre COVID. It's pretty bad whenever we're, we're doing everything, and we call that BC before COVID. Um, the, there is a hazard mitigation committee that EMA puts together that is made up of multiple entities within our uh, community. It's made up of law enforcement. It's made up of, um, of course, government officials, hospital officials. There's there's a, a large, large range of people that are involved, uh, fire, EMS, you name it. Um, and we get together, um, they schedule those meetings. It actually started, this particular process started when Kim Carver was still EMA director. So it's a very lengthy process to go through. And we have these meetings and we review and, and we, we come up with this plan, which is required by law to do. And through that mitigation process, you evaluate what your risks are as a community. Uh, it's interesting to note that prior to uh, COVID, BC, um, you know, infectious uh, disease um, was very low on the totem pole. And of course, who could have predicted um, that? So uh, through this process, through the evaluation, through those meetings, discussing literally rating what our risks are. In this area, we have high wind risk, we have storm risk, we have um, you know, summer, springs, snow, things like that. Those are all evaluated. And then that plan is put together based upon those findings. And everybody agrees on those findings. It takes multiple meetings to do that. And then we have, they, well, EMA has a, a firm that puts, just brings it all together. And then that, this is the culmination of that plan. So um, if you'll notice, you saw the mitigation plan on item two, but then we turn around and there's this thing called promogul promulgation, sorry. It's a very fancy word, a hard word to say. Promulgation is the, the, the governing body, which is the Board of County Commissioners, now officially saying this is in effect, this is our plan. Okay, so it is a large, document if you want a copy of that i'm sure they'd be more than happy to give it to you it's it's kind of thick about a quarter inch thick but it covers everything from how we react to floods and storms and and you name it it it, it covers engine you know our site of county engineer and the things that he does and ever it's it's amazing it's an amazing document um it's a good read that gives everybody should give everybody great uh confidence that and, and it, which has been proven time and time again that Scioto County is very ready for um, any anything that may come. So as far as preparation for uh, flooding, you know, the flood walls, things like that, it's all in there. So it's, it's pretty, it's pretty amazing document. And uh, yeah, so that's, that, that's item two. I hope that helps you. Um, also, uh, on item four, um, it's just kind of um, the, every year, Job and Family Services does what's called a comprehensive case management and employment program. Uh, that is with Community Action Organization. Uh, comprehensive case management and employment program, which is 
also known as the CCMEP uh, contract with the Community Action Organization. That is in effect from October 1st, 2020 through September 30th, 2021. This program provides employment, training, services, and other supportive services to mandatory and voluntary participants based upon a comprehensive assessment of an individual's employment and training needs, targeting youth ages 14 to 24, and the contract value is $900,294. That is the CCMEP, that's the TANF, T-A-N-F, regular, and an additional $66,868, which is the administrative value of that. That is what is spent for community action to actually administer the program that helps cover salaries, totaling $967,000. $162. No sense. Okay. All right. And that's all my questions for uh, okay. agenda. All right. Thank you. I'm not sure if this is on agenda or not, but from Sue Smith, was the job for the road work supervisor filled? For the road work supervisor? It's probably the, maybe the litter control supervisor. Yeah, I, I, I'm assuming that's probably what they're asking about. I Road could. work supervisor? Probably litter yes. control supervisor, so I'm sure. Um, that is being done this week. Hopefully, maybe today. We're gonna, we're gonna try to put that to rest today, so. It's everything on here so far. Um, okay, all right. Um, yes, I'm sorry, okay, off the agenda. Yes, uh, go yes. ahead. Um, uh, the commissioners announced a few weeks ago about the uh, Terrace Act funding for small business. Yes. Um, I was wondering what the response level has been so far. What, now, this was several days ago when I asked. Um, it's, it, I haven't asked for, I don't know, three or four days. Um, at the time, they had had 12 applications turned in. I'm sure that number has increased um, because there's been several calls asking exactly where is their office. So I have a feeling there's probably been more, um, but I, I don't have any more information on it beyond that. I, last I heard, there was at least 12, and that there was a lot of, I mean, there was a lot of people pick up applications. I don't have that exact number. You might want to check with uh, Rob Port or I'm sorry, Robert Horton or Mark Ward with Economic Development. Do you know where their office is? Right there on Court Street? Okay, all right. Anything else? No, okay. Anything? All right. Okay. Well, we appreciate everybody coming and watching our meeting today. Um, and I, I will say this too, please. Um, as many know, we do have an increase in cases in the county, and uh, we need to try to do our best to uh, stay safe. Wash your hands. I know our county, our county uh, health commissioner says that many, many times. He really stresses that. Wash your hands and don't touch your face. But uh, we, we, our heart goes out to the loss of another uh, person yesterday uh, to their family and uh, pray that this pandemic will, will end soon is our prayer. All right. We have a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Mr. Crabtree? Aye. Ms. Coleman? Aye. Mr. Davis? Aye.